what is up everyone here we are with another beautiful nice tutorial on Amazon and react and in this tutorial we will be actually storing files on the cloud on Amazon cloud and then viewing them retrieving them deleting them and all sorts of cool stuff so I guess uh, let's just get started because I can explain to you a lot of things that will be boring so the first thing you will do is go to console.aws.amazon.com and we're right here at the dashboard and uh, here are a couple of things we need to do so um, the first thing we'll do is we'll go to IEM things the identity something something whatever and then you are gonna go over to roles and then you're gonna create a role okay so you have a couple of options here uh, we're just gonna leave the first one as is but you want to select S3 and then you want to select S3 here at the bottom to give it full, uh, give actually S3 full access. And then we will say next. Let it think. Okay, then here you're going to select S3 and you want to do Amazon S3 full access. I'll do that and I'll say tags. We're not going to do any tags for now. Okay, so the role name will be, let's say, React and we'll say uh, storage role right so that's that and then we'll leave everything as is then we'll create the role beautiful so the role has been created if you come here uh, you're gonna see it here which is react storage role so that's beautiful now with that done so we're gonna head back over to the console All right so the other thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go into the cognito and uh, you know uh, set up some stuff here so I'll go to cognito then what I'll do is I'll say manage identity pools and then we will create a new identity pool. All right, so here we are, uh, and now we're gonna give it a pool name. So we'll just call it React uh, Storage Demo. So it's the same as the app name. Now we want to do unauthenticated uh, access, which means is uh, anybody, I guess, which has access to your app can load the uh, upload files. Uh, if you want, you can add the authentication flow but we'll leave that for next tutorial because this will involve uh, somebody to actually log in with the username and password and a little bit more. So you're gonna check that off and then we'll say create pool. All right, so when that is done, then we're gonna head over to view details. And um, there are two kind of details. One is for the authenticated, one is for the unauthenticated. So I'll come over here to, come over here to the unauthenticated and then what you want to do is this is the role name that actually uh, I think they append the storage demo name to it and then you want to click on the view policy document and this is what we're going to change so I'll click edit and I'll say okay all right so over here on the docs uh, they have a couple of uh, you know um, samples you can see or just uh, some helpers so I'm here at the storage uh, option and then if you come here there are two things you can do so there's is a automatic setup that that requires the amplify CLI and then here's the manual setup so we're doing the manual setup the automatic setup uh, I mean you can try it but uh, I, I, I'm just gonna show you the manual setup today. You're gonna come over here to the manual setup. Uh, we're gonna do this later, uh, but the thing that I want to do is the auth role. So here's the one for the authorized um, object. We want to do the unauthorized. So here's the unauth role. What I'll do is I'll just copy everything and then I'll come here. I'll take everything and paste it. So now here, uh, as you can see, there's the bucket name. We haven't created the bucket name yet, so I guess we can go ahead and create that. So I'll say console. I'll go to S3. All right, so we're here in the S3. So what I'll do is I'll say create a bucket. And let's give this bucket a name. So we'll say react uh, bucket. Uh, we're going to select our uh, region. So I'm Canada. I'll do that. And uh, we'll just uncheck this because we want to allow public access. And I guess that'll be it for, yeah, we're not going to bother the, about the rest. We'll say create bucket. It says that bucket is taken. So how about I add my name to it? Grab soft. I'll copy this. So yeah, react bucket grab soft. Let's say create bucket. Oh, okay, yes. So I. Yeah, I'm going to check that. We'll say create bucket. And here we go. The bucket has been created. So if I click on it, there's currently nothing in it. 
leave populating stuff in it. So I'll come back here and then I will just populate this with the bucket name. All right, so once that's all done, uh, what it's doing is actually giving permissions, the kind of actions uh, that you can do in the bucket uh with this role so we can you know get the objects we can put objects in it we can delete objects uh, and then here you can see the effect on it uh, you can read more on the uh, inside of documentation so it's attached to this bucket so once we're done with that then we're just going to say allow and now it's gonna you know uh, give you your um i guess the identity pool id that's what we're going to use in our uh, code so you can have different platforms the one i'm going to choose will be javascript so what I'll do, I'll just copy this and I'll paste it somewhere. And uh, I think that's it for this part. So I'll just go to the dashboard. So currently you can see the activity happening. There's no activity. So now let's go create a React project and uh, hook this up to uh, this uh, bucket. All right, so here I am at the command prompt and what we'll do is just quickly create a React project. Alright, here we are and I can see the source and da da da, da. Alright, so I'll come here now and let's uh, start this. Alright, very nice. So we have our project here and let's just switch back here and to VS Code and I guess we will take everything out and I'll just say for starters, you can remove this. I'll just say H1 say React aws storage demo so that's good so that's got that got updated okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install some dependencies and uh, i guess the only dependency we need is the aws amplify just hit control tick and then i'll say npm install aws amplify Cool, so with that squared away, let's go to package.json and make sure that it's been brought in. Yeah, so that's good. All right, so now we're just gonna get cracking here. So we're gonna do the init first, uh, and that can be done is the use effect hook. So the use effect, and I'll just uh, close this. So I have the, uh, what do you call this? By the way, the uh, co-pilot, and that thing is trying to help me sometimes. So I'll do this and yeah there you go that's pretty good all right so what I'll do is I'll come here and I'll say import and I'll say amplify and the other thing I want to bring is storage so I'm gonna bring these two because they'll be helping us down the line so once I have that uh, done then I can come over here and configure the amplify service so what you will do is you'll say amplify that configure wow look at that guy it's smart uh, and then we're gonna, you know, throw in some configuration stuff. So first of all, let me just close this And we're gonna configure two things. So we're gonna configure the auth object and we need to configure the storage object So for the auth object, I'll just uh, put that here and then I'll close that Right and then the other thing we need is the storage Now I'll come here and then close that off like that Right, so within the storage what we need is the AWS S3 All right, so I'm gonna put that here and then close that off now what do we put inside all right so for the auth we need the identity pool ID and we need to the put the region these are these are like required fields the minimum that you need so I'll come here and I'll say identity pool ID right and we're gonna plug that in I don't know why this guy is putting this one um, hmm, very strange and then for the region all on uh, speech recognition for the region uh, what we will do is we will put CA central dash one it's for Canada so if you're in uh, some other region you're just gonna put that and I'll show you where we get that from if you weren't paying attention before uh, and then over here we're gonna put the bucket so I'll say uh, whatever the bucket name was so I forgot what bucket name we chose and go to info here it is react bucket grabs off so I'll copy that 
come here and stick that in here so I have that and I think you have to put the region again so I'll say region CA central good now for the identity pool ID that's the ID that we got when we created the pool so I think I copied it somewhere in my clipboard so I'll come here and copy and paste it and I would encourage you to do the same just copy it when you get it at that time because I don't know how to get to it after that. So I'm going to paste that here and I'll save everything. So that should configure the Amplify service for us. And after this, we should be able to, uh, you know, start um, loading files and all sorts of stuff. Okay, so now what we can do is we can come here and maybe add an input, right? And I want to have an input of type is equal to file. And no, that's not the class I want. All right, so we gotta choose file. You know what I should do? I should bring this over to the side so we can see this. All right, so now that we have these things side by side, so I can come here, click on choose file, and I can choose file from here. So that's all good. Uh, so I guess for starters, we can actually, uh, you know, start, you know, just let's spit out the file name or something. So I can use the ref for that. So I'll say const ref is equal to use ref and let's set it to null and then I can come here and I'll say ref equals ref all right and then I can just come here and I say on change right now I'll say uh, handle file uh, load all right now we're going to define the uh, handler so you can say uh, const handle equal to a lambda function and then what I can do is I can say console.log console.log and let's just file the or I guess log the ref.current.files right I'm gonna save it and I'm just gonna come here and let me just refresh and then let me choose a file and damn nice so we got our file so we're not doing multiple files, we're just going to do one file, but you can definitely add that. So I have the file name, which is the uh, SN array, and then the first thing is that. So I guess I can come here and I can say const file name is equal to, I'll say ref.current.f, oh look at that thing is smart. Copilot sometimes can be very helpful actually. Alright, so I'm just going to split the file name, um, let me choose a different file. And will give me that file if I choose this file in 1879. Give me that file. Cool. All right, so now we've got the file name. Uh, what we can do is start, uh, you know, uh, storing this in the cloud. So what I can do is I can say, it actually knows that I want to do that. So I'll say storage dot put. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to give it the a file name. So I'll say file name, right? And then the file content. So I'll say uh, ref dot yeah that's exact whoa so that's actually right that's what we want to do and I'm just gonna bring this here now this returns a promise so this returns a promise so I think we can just do response response and then come on help me yep here we go and I'm gonna close this and actually I want to do and you know catch catch any error yep and i want to do console the error that's right okay so i'll save this and uh there's an error storage is not exported from aws amplify core let's see i think you need to bring it from aws amplify if i'm not mistaken Right, so I think we just have to add uh, AWS Amplify. It's not in the core, so I just added that, and then re had to refresh the app. For some reason, it just got stuck. I was spinning, uh, so that fixes that problem. All right, so now once uh, we have that, uh, I think we can put the file, and if everything went successful, we should be able to see the response. So I'm just gonna bring up my console, clear it up, and let's fire it away, and let's see if I uploaded this image. Okay, we got an error. That's good. All right, so it's saying uh, that's good. This error came up. So now it is saying that access to blah 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 has been blocked by course policy. And do do do. Okay, so that means we need to configure the course policy, the cross-origin resource sharing. 
and to do that we will call back into where our project is actually yeah. okay here we are so I will come over here and do so this is the bucket right uh, and we're trying to put in that bucket but there's no permissions so you're gonna click on permissions and then you what you want to do is can kind of come over all the way to the bottom and we need to paste in some stuff here so I'll say edit and then I can paste the stuff here so if you remember like the docs so we already did the configuration here and now what we need to do is we need to do the course policy so this was for the unauthorized access we did that so here's the course policy setup so uh, we were at, at the console we're already at this place so I'll just do copy I've copied that I'll come here and paste as plain text so basically what's saying is allow you know all these operations um, and then from every from any origin if you want to ask uh, let's say you're building this app for someone and you know what the domain is coming from then you can restrict it to that domain uh, so I'll say save changes and these have been applied and I think we should be able to now upload our image to the cloud all right, so we got an object back and let's leave what's in the object. All right, so we got a key. So if you get this, it means the image upload was successful. So let's go to the console and take a look. All right, so here I am at the console. So, so far there's nothing. Let me do a refresh. And wow, there's a public folder and we here we have an image. So 1879, that's the one I uploaded. Let's try another one. That's so much fun. So I'm just going to come here and let's uh, choose this 1912 and then we'll say open all right so we have it here let's go to the console i'm going to do a refresh yes we have the image all right that's that's amazing huh, that's very exciting actually all right so why don't we go ahead now and um you know let's see if we can display the images and maybe we can delete the images and as a bonus uh, let's add a progress uh, simple progress bar or something uh, indicator uh, that when we upload the images we can actually see the progress so pretty exciting stuff so now we're just gonna display the number of files we have on the cloud so for that we can use uh, let's let's start with uh, something simple we'll say files set files it's a state, we'll say use state. It's an empty array for now. And then I can bring in the use state. All right, so I'm gonna save this. Uh, so let's come here and let's, uh, let me just spit this out. So how about we do files dot length, right? And currently it's zero because we don't have any files. Okay, so we're gonna use a use effect for that. So I'll come here and I'll close everything like that and then I'll come here and refresh this all right uh, and then what I want not what I want to do is I want to come here and I want to say storage dot list right I'm gonna give it empty empty parentheses if you do that that means uh, get all the files uh, once I have that then I'm just gonna then it and I'll say files and then we can close it off like that like that and then catch error and I can just console those and for files let's just console that actually let's do set files it's smart enough okay so perfect we got two files that's exactly what we have uh, and now what we're gonna do is we can actually list them in a tabular form uh, and see them in action uh, so what I'll do is I'm gonna get rid of this and I'll create a table so I'll have table and then I'll have T head I'll just create quickly create this table All right, so um, I just had to zip through this because uh, I mean I'm, sh I'm sure you guys know uh, this this much React by now. Uh, but what I just did is created a table, then I map over the file that I get from the cloud, 
and then I you know give it to you the index that I have and then the key is the actual image name and this is what we use to retrieve the image and then I have two buttons uh, which are the actions so I can show an image and I can delete an image and then here I have at the bottom is a uh, image source uh, which currently null because there's no image but we can use this to actually show our image so I'm just gonna set a width on it and uh, let's just make it 600 because if it's a big image I don't want to show it so now when we click on the show button I want to be able to show that image all right so now when we click on the show button I want to be able to show that image so I can come over here and hook that up quickly all right so what we have is a button and just on a handle when I click the uh, button, then I have a handle show, so I sh it should display the image name when I click on it. So there you go, there you go. Let's do the same for delete. Okay, so with that done, so if I click delete, so I'm getting that. If I click show, then I'm getting this. Now all we have to do is actually show these images. So to do the show, yeah, you come here and you basically do storage dot get right and what we want to get well we want to get the file and let's just get the file and see what happens so if I just do show well nothing happens because it's a promise so I can do then response and then in that case I can say set uh, image and the image will be file so I'll say file right uh, and then we'll catch error and all that thing right so if everything worked well I should see the image show show nothing is happening so let's click on this and see what's going on actually you know what uh, let me do this let me just come here and uh, log this so I'll say console.log and we'll see a response and see what we get let me maximize this a bit let me clear this I guess we are getting uh, we are getting this object if I click on it then see the image got downloaded if I click on it so there you go that's the ugly garage so it is image is there but for some reason it's not showing in here so let me inspect this uh, we have an image oh image is there too looks like we forgot to do something ah here it should be a response not uh, not that all right so let me close this and let's show Wah! show perfect so now we can upload images and we can show them and they're coming straight from the cloud okay perfect so now let's uh, add a feature when we add an image I want to update this table okay, so for that we what we could do is we could uh, take this and put that in a separate function so I can come here and I can say uh, let's say cons load images load images is equal to so then I can put all this code here right and then I can call maybe this from here I can say load images and then also after I'm done with the upload I can just do load images again so that you know the list is always updated so let's uh, refresh this okay so we have two images I'm gonna come here and let me add a third one and bada bam you got that if I show it it's here if I show this one I show this one nice now so we're gonna do the same thing on delete so here's the delete and what you do is you're just gonna do storage the delete uh, I think it's remove yeah it's remove file that then the response and then the error so once you get the once you get a response then I want to load images <laughs> it knows actually what I want to do so I'll just save it and that's uh, delete this image perfect and I'm gonna delete the 1912 now one thing you could do is maybe refresh this to um, you know uh, remove that but I'll leave that as an exercise okay so now we have a show we have a delete uh, the other thing I want to do is show a progress uh, that happens when we are actually um, uploading the image so for that I'll come here and right below the choose file I'll add a maybe something that we can use to show the progress so I'll just say call it progress 
right and of course we need to define this so like always it will be a state and I'll say progress just set progress right use state zero um, well I don't know if I want to do zero because it's gonna show zero so what I'll do is initialize it to nothing I want to show nothing so that's my progress now uh, when do you catch that well the progress actually happens when we are doing the upload and it will be here within the port function okay so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna do it here so I'll come here to the port function and it will be the third argument uh, it's an object and I'll just uh, bring it here all right so what do we do well we say progress callback right and you get a progress I'm gonna close this so for now let's just console log it just to make sure that we are getting uh, some progress so let's say mat round right and let's do progress are loaded damn that's pretty cool okay so it looks like autopilot or copilot helped us Alright, so I'm gonna come here and I'll say choose file and let's choose this file. Let's say open. Let's look at that, you see the progress. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, now, what we need to do is we need to somehow display that over here. Alright, so now that that is done, so what we can do is I can say uh, set progress to progress, but I don't want to do that. So I'll come here and I'll do like this. I think that should work. Okay, so let's choose a file and see the progress in action. Oh, nice. I like this. Okay, I don't know why it's stupid Microsoft man is doing me its crap. I don't want to see you. Anyways, um, so now I can delete this and let's uh, delete this. Let's delete this. So everything is gone. Uh, now I can see that the progress is staying here. Uh, of course, I don't want that. So I would like to clear this. So what we can do is maybe find a timeout. Uh, let's see if this thing is smart and we'll do it now. Okay. So I'll say set progress to nothing uh, after a second. Just come here and let me choose this file again. Okay, we have a nice progress. Uh, it got set to zero. We don't want that. So I'm going to clear this and let's try again. So I'm going to choose another file and let's choose this one. All right. So let's choose a big file. Let's uh, choose a movie. So this movie okay guys so you got a movie too so that's the thing you can upload movies images anything you want I don't know if I can show this because you would need a movie thing so I can delete that one and so far I only have two images let's check the cloud and see if we actually have two images right, so here I am on the back end uh, what do we have 1879 1964 and I'm gonna refresh pretty cool so um, that's, I guess, it for uh, how to store images on the cloud, on Amazon Cloud using React and using the storage uh, API, I guess. And I hope it really helped. If you want more tutorials, I'll make one in Angular as well. And please like and subscribe and bye for now.